so spooky we're gonna spooky season everybody how's it going oh bloody hell we've done it we d it is me believe it or not it is me or at least a version of me james jenkins master of the weekend mm -hmm. how are you how was your day it's friday <laughs> my dudes time for another fun cyberpunk stream uh, uh. i mean silent till two stream there we go hope yeah. you are having Lovely. an amazing day well, thank you very much, Stephen, for bits there. Yeah, it's a good day. It's a scary day. I don't know. We're in uncharted territory right now. Um, dangerous ghost. waters right now. <laughs> oh, another friendly ghost. Thank you very much. Born too slow. Subscribed with Prime. By the way, if you do have uh, an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe too for free once a month. And it's amazing. Thank you so much, Born Too Slow. Subscribe for 20 months now. Absolute legend. Cheers, mate. Uh, howdy, howdy, one and all. Uh, so spooky, he lost his cyberpunk copy in the fog. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what's that's what's spooking me. I don't I don't know what this new game is. What uh, there are other games out there? That's weird. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You're lying. We're gonna meet our good friends Keanu and and Jackie and also Idris Elba. They're all hiding out in the fog, probably. Um, yeah, it's it's mental. They took the name Night City a little too literally, didn't they? <laughs> I know we haven't turned, uh, started the game yet, but you're early. That's that's fine. That's a, a fair comment. They they absolutely did ship Thompson's films. Um, did I download the mod that turns the fog off? I'm worried about that to be honest, because um, if I do that, the computer might not handle it. It's quite beefy uh, settings. We're playing this on uh, on a Steam version. At the minute. Uh, oh, a new game, Cyber Bunk 722. <laughs> I'm really, really excited for that one. That's going to be a sick sequel. Uh, a sequel. <laughs> um, but yeah, Silent Hill 2, the remake. They um, blew the team, man. They only they only gone and did it. They, they finally they achieved greatness. Uh, I've played a little bit of it. Um, and yeah, as you mentioned, I, I did see the, uh, the mod that turns off the fog. <laughs> the anti-fog mod. Um, I'm terrified that this this PC is not going to be able to handle all the uh, all the extreme the extreme graphics because when I uh, when I was friendly setting up, ghost. friendly ghost, amazing! Thank you very much, Steven. Subscribed now for 64 months total on a 63 month streak. My goodness, that's that's very weird. That's uh, it's it's almost like is that possible to skip a month? Oh yeah, I suppose. Um, well, thank you very much. Oh yeah, here we go. 64 months of triple jump time. 64 months, the best video game number of the best console of all time. I'll have no other comments regarding that. Thank you very much. Uh, so excited for the Tatapil. Got something for all of triple jump. Ah, oh, amazing. Even one for who? Mr. James Jenkins? I don't know who that is. Some crazy person. Um, cheers for the fun and good times here's to many more thank you so much Stephen. ah oh, of course yes we have the tat appeal is now officially open as of uh start this week i hope everybody is very very excited for that um obviously you know don't don't go well don't go sending like anything too crazy like you know i've already got one million zimbabwean dollars don't don't go beyond that like another another mil sure that's fine uh, any more though <laughs> It's getting a bit silly, um, but seriously, yeah, it's uh, it's any, anything you can send, and you know, tat is the uh, 
is the appropriate word there. Um, as well as, you know, new worst and weirdest games, that's always very much appreciated as well. Uh, send whatever, whatever you want, if you want, if you can. Um, yeah, times are tough and we, we especially appreciate it. But yeah, Tower Peel is now open. <gasps> address on screen. No, I don't have that ready. I don't have it ready. I should have that ready, shouldn't I? I should do the, uh, do the whole address on screen thing, but whatever. Fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. It'll be all right. Send in some crumbs for the mods too. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. Please do because it's the only way they're going to get fed on us. We keep forgetting. We keep forgetting. <laughs> we are literal crumbs. We are starving. Exactly. Oh, dearie me. I'll give you a hint. It's to commemorate your best pal in Cyberpunk. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! We assume he's just been sleeping this entire time. Well, maybe we'll see him in the fog. Maybe we've been sent a letter from our darling, dear wife. It's gonna... The game is gonna get a bit meta considering the, um... Silent Hill, that is. Uh, considering the main character's called James. So that's gonna be fun. They were like, what's the most generic white boy name we could pick? Uh, James, yeah, yeah, go on in. Um, that'd be fun. That'd be lots of fun. One day we'll get a game titled Noisy Planes and it's Cozy Slice of Life game. Yes, I like exactly. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, finding the alarm alarming. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, hi, Adip, how's it going? Uh, Amazon asked for a rating for the tat I, sh I sent. Should I give it five stars? <gasps> hmm. It depends, like how 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 tatty would you would you rate it? I mean, my instinct is obviously at least five stars. You know, six or seven out of five, easy. Jenkins game debut. My my what I am? Me? What? Oh yeah yeah. J James being James Sullen. James Sullen. Um, obviously we can't say that too loud, uh, but yeah. Uh, give it give it two thumbs up and your own personal hurrah out of five. Uh, Jesus, that's a weird reference, but hey, if, if the people that will know, will know. Uh, this game is just a walking sim depicting how you get to work each morning. Basically, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, it's very foggy on the time, especially at the minute. Uh, it's not quite foggy, but it is very, very cold compared to what it used to be, and that makes me sad. And we've got... <laughs> It's fine though, we've only got another like six months of this. <laughs> ah, all you winter enjoyers, all you autumn and winter enjoyers, I hope you're happy. Oh, got to put on more layers. Oh, it's so pretty with the colours outside while you're freezing your ass off. Anyway, end of rant. Um, if I want my tap back, should I include a stamped self-addressed envelope? That is a smart choice. Honestly, we can't. I would, yeah, uh, you are well within your rights to, uh, to claim it back within 30 days, I think. Um, it is a, <laughs> you don't hear that often. Uh, include a stabbed self-addressed envelope. envelope. Um, hey, Lloyd W90, my first double J stream. I hope it goes up. Oh, welcome, Lloyd. Thank you very much for, for popping by. Well, I mean, now I hope it goes well as well. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's the extra pressure. It's fine. We'll, we'll get through it, I think. Um, we're not going to struggle to, you know, press the right button. On, on this doohickey. I mean, this thing bloody struggles as is, but you know. Um, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. We'll make it to the foggy town of Shush Mound. Shush Mound. Yeah. We'll, we'll <laughs> a, a perfect, a perfect sequel. Uh, spiritual successor. I'm only an autumn and winter enjoyer until the end of December. Then it can get warm again, please. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, yeah, you're cutting out um, most of winter, I suppose, because that's like, January, February time. Um, I should love it. Birthday's in January as well. But then it's like, man, why, why can't I have been born in a, in a nice, nice hot and uh, sunny and potentially tropical month? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Neil Buchanan used to say it on Art Attack all the time, but he pronounced it envelope. Yeah, he's well, he would, he's a classy guy. He's a classy guy, you know. Um, all the best people born in January. Damn straight. To Thomas Thumbs. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to it's not sponsored. We're not sponsored. Um, we weren't gifted this code. I had to bloody pay for it with my own Zimbabwean dollars. Bloody piss take, I tell you. <laughs> the Silent Hill is the friends we made along the way. Uh, and by friends, I mean mannequin knife wielding nurses. Yeah. See, th this is what I was thinking as well. It's like, okay, well, go for a game that's potentially just a little bit shorter. It's still fairly lengthy. You know, like, uh, I think I saw anywhere between like 16 and 20 hours. I don't know, we'll, we'll eke it out for about nine months, I reckon. But, uh, yeah, the other thing is, well, Cyberpunk had a lot of swears, 
and this might not have a lot of swears, but it might have some disturbing content. So just just warning, just a pre-warning for you. Um, not very good at gaming, we know that one. Thank you very much, Cat. That's our, our wonderful writer, Cat. Subscribed with Prime, an excellent use once again, an excellent use of your Prime, your free Twitch Prime sub. Uh, thank you very much, Cap, for subscribing for 33 months now. Bloody hell. Absolute legend. Um, hello, James Jenkins and Warriors Clan. Hope you're all having a smashing Friday. Looking forward to some excellent spookums. I myself have already finished the game. <laughs> of course, yeah. Bloody hell. Um, well played. Well played. I myself have already finished the game, but interested to see what you make of it. I played like uh, not even a couple of hours last night and it's really good so far but I spent a lot of it just stopping and admiring the fog and everything and also doing that yeah I've, I've become so ingrained in PC gaming where I was like oh I've got to check my frames oh I'll change the settings hopefully the settings are fine on this one but that's amazing oh hard puzzle mode too alright bloody flex jeez that's uh that is hardcore well done that's amazing work um <laughs> definitely didn't have to look up any of the answers on tinternet um, amazing. Thank you very much, Batman Fan Drew, for subscribing as well. Absolute insane total of 65 months. I didn't think we'd even been going that long. That is, that is, you've hacked, you've hacked real life. Well done, Batman Fan Drew. Ah, oh, really appreciate that. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, I hope everyone is ready for the weekend. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, just, just about, just about there. Uh, hopefully. Oh man, there's a, there's a bloody shout. Jesus, yes, Stephen. Um, more Cat and James Baldur's Gate free streams in the future? I think the problem <laughs> with it is it's such a long game. Um, and you know what it is with, with streaming anyway, as you could probably have, you know, as you could probably have been able to tell, English, words, very difficult today. Uh, it's been a long week. Um, but yeah, as, as you can tell, like, you know, with Cyberpunk, it took longer, maybe, than it should have done, although only two hours a week. But that's the other thing, really. have two hours, and then it does take a little bit longer with, with talking and chatting and streaming and stuff. It's a bloody, oh, it's a mission. But it was a lot of fun. So, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> it's very long. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm game for a return if you are, Cap, but it's, it's one of those where we might be doing it to the end of time <laughs> if we, you know, have it sporadically and whatnot. Um, but yeah, phew, what a game though. We know you hate playing long games. I know, but that's disgusting. G give me two hour games. Uh, I want a game that's finishing two two streams. I know um, uh, Asher was once again saying uh, earlier today that apparently like someone was asking in her chat, like, has he finally finished now? Has he finally finished? It's like, well, you know what? Excuse me for playing games that are longer than three hours. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my that's my response. Random commenter. I don't I don't know who it was, but watching you um, have a nice game of Portal. Yeah, I mean that's a classic. We we can't we can't go wrong with that. We we could break the record, maybe maybe not with Silent Hill, but maybe with something in the future. Uh, Cyberpunk two. We'll play uh, what's a, what's a really long. Um, we'll play Persona. We'll play Persona five. How about that? A nice easy one. Neo Automata. Yes, with all the endings, with all like 50 odd endings. Perfect. Um, that's a really good shout, absolutely. Uh, hey. How did you enjoy Ashton's play? Yeah, it was really good. Thanks, Wee Carrot. Yeah, um, I mentioned it last week as well. Um, yeah, she's, you know, she's a uh, very good performance. Everyone was very good. Like, I was, uh, I was blown away. It was, it was one of those where it's like, it's billed as, you know, like people's theatre and, you know, like, technically amateur but like they're all they all bloody smashed it and it was it was a very very funny one as well like a uh, a farcical one gwent <laughs> the gwent never ends we'll we'll play witcher but specifically getting all the gwent cards and playing every single game of gwent in the witcher 3 um all of the gwent <laughs> everybody bloody hell everybody loves gwent cf6 well look i'm not i'm not promising that we're going to return to cf6 but i know a certain civilization game, whatever could it be, Civ 7, that's coming out in February, right? So you know we're going to touch that. We're, we're going to touch on that. Um, uh, James Jenkins, I am told, is the worst person in the world to play Civ with. <laughs> He's very good at Max's Max's every turn. Uh, 
<laughs> well, that's that's a very complimentary way of putting it. I've heard less than uh, I I know I know what you're talking about. It's um, Bob's slanderous lies. Don't believe them. Um, it might be true. It might be a little bit true. Look, you just gotta. That that's how. That's how you you get to the big leagues. You know, you gotta you gotta just spend half an hour on every turn. I'm an hour in, and a 30 minutes. There you go. Yeah. Um, and then you win the game because everybody else gets bored and leaves. So you win by default. Mind games, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll have fun with that. Oh, God, I was about to. I realised we've it's it's been a while. We still haven't started on the game. We'll start very very soon. Okay. Um, but first, thank you very much, Demented Space, for for the subscription with Prime again. Excellent use of that Prime sub, baby. Uh, subscribe for 36 months now. Thank you so much, uh, Demented Space. That is a long old time, <laughs> yeah, man. When I started subscribing, we were all stuck in a house for some reason. Yeah, no idea why that was. I think just a collective fog descended on the world, right? Um, you win Civ when you uninstall it. No, that's that's when you admit defeat, mate. You, you don't want to be doing that. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyway, let's let's crack on. Let's crack on, shall we? Uh, thank you again, Demented Space. Amazing stuff. We were all in, speaking of fog. Ooh, that's the wrong button. Ooh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. What are you, what are you talking about? Hey, I'm walking here, et cetera, et cetera. We'll put the music on there. Now I want, I want the ambiance to come through because it is very good ambiance. Um, but also, it might end up being a bit too loud in places, so we'll we'll see how we go. We can just adjust it in game if we need. Do the hard <laughs> do the hard puzzles, you coward! Oh, get over! <laughs> well, considering like I don't want to be doing this for the next nine months, I was going to put on easy puzzles, but um, at home I was I was doing the uh, the medium puzzles, and I did solve one of them involving. Uh, not to spoil it, because we'll probably get to it anyway. Uh, and apparently it changes, like, where the clues are and stuff. It changes up the game a little bit. So I assume if you put it on easy, it saves a little bit of time. I don't know. Um, extreme is just one puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Um, it's just uh, the puzzles equate to, like, uh, train one leaves uh, Stoke-on-Trent station at 8.02, traveling 72 miles an hour. It's, it's one of those. You can't switch a puzzle difficulty partway through yet. Yeah, that's that's what I remember seeing. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, you know you don't have to finish a game and start on stream, right? <sighs> well, I mean, I'm getting mixed messages because on one hand you keep saying about Civ 6 and then on the other hand you're saying that, so I don't know anymore. Um, but yeah, I was thinking like, so I did it on medium. We'll, we'll see. I think combat... We can change our midway through, so I'll just leave it on standard. I could just leave it on standard for now. Uh, it's 10 p.m. here and I'm alone. Will I be spooked? Oh, Psylocke. Maybe. I mean, you know, depending on how long we take, which will be forever. Um, I got to a certain point in the game where I was so deep in ridiculous logic that I totally overlooked a super easy way <laughs> to solve the issue I was presented with. That's the sign of a good a good set of uh, survival horror puzzles right there, you, where you're using their backwards logic. Um, that's perfect. Perfect stuff. Uh, James's mask? No, I don't have it. What do you mean? Oh yeah, this is cool, eh? You can put on the, uh, the 90s. Put the mask on! <laughs> The dog, the dog one's great, by the way. The dog one is fantastic, but no. Nah. Uh, we will, we will be cowards and put it on light. But now you've mentioned it, cat. I will finish the game. I will start a new game on hard puzzles, <laughs> just to prove a point. And then I will, I will send you the the message. Send you the the proof. Um, yeah, I think we're good there. Uh, we can change the combat. I don't know. Well, do you guys want to see uh, standard? It didn't seem like very difficult puzzles at at that point. But I'm worried about the backtracking and stuff. Taking up a little bit of time. Oh, is that enough? Not enough. Yeah, that's no, fine. What do we reckon? Light puzzle just means the puzzle has less weight. <laughs> it means it's lit up more. If I'm easy, we'll go with easy then. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to bow to your peer pressure. <laughs> All right. Right. Are we ready? 
Oh, it's so foggy. I, I don't know about this. This is a tough decision. Right. Puzzle one complete. They are quite easy, aren't they? Man, the ambient sounds are really unnerving. Oh, judging by the levels there. Might want to turn it down just a tad. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. I remember this exact shot got slated so hard when they first showed it. And fair play to Blue Team, they um took the uh took the reaction of the fan base on board. Although from what I see, and there's there's certainly a discourse on Twitter right now about, you know, I, I've been seeing more people saying, oh, those bloody Silent Hill fans, those original Silent Hill fans that are never happy. I've been, I've been seeing more people sort of complaining about them, saying, oh, they can't just be happy with a simple, you know, a good game. There's got to be something. But realistically, Leon? <laughs> Leon. Yeah, realistically, I think people should just step step back a little bit. Maybe go outside. Touch fog. You know what I mean? Mary. Go fog yourselves. Could you really be in this town? Mary. Sensor, well, I'm pretty damn sure of this. Yeah, Konami fans will never be happy. Um, yeah, level-headed discourse. That's the place. You're right. Um, but this sort of music just screams like '90s, like yeah, '90s, maybe early 2000s sort of vibe. It's really, really cool. In my restless dreams, I see that town, that Silent Mary. Hill. You promised you'd Honest. take me there again someday. But you never did. Pfft. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Ooh, that's a high bar. On par with Resident Evil 2 Remake. That fills me with a lot of promise. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. My wife? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Sorry. It is, it is ridiculous. That's what I keep telling myself. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Uh. So then why am I looking for her? I totally don't know. What Our special knows. place. What could she be? Oh no! This whole town is <laughs> no, special place. No Psylog. Three years ago, so Coke. Could Mary <laughs> really be here? Deary me. Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Something about that music just... It's like nice music, but still... still somehow really unnerving it's amazing and i i imagine i can't remember like so i didn't play the original um whoa that is certainly a blur effect hmm okay uh i mean it runs smooth though which is good okay just just testing just doing basically what i did before like <laughs> spend a few minutes running around being like well, it's not quite as many frames as I wanted. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this looks good. Um, should be someone in the car. New GTA looks good. Yeah, bit bit murky though, isn't it? Uh, thank you very much. We'll take it. Wait a minute. Why has it got the bloody? Why has it got the PlayStation controls symbols on? Um, I think he'll be in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was saying now. Do, 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 do. Interaction icon, button icon, it splot of idiot. Combat challenge, that's where we change that. Um, hmm. Display. 
in game motion blur is off because I can't stand it. Crank up the fog on me. A fog maximum. You have chosen power drive. Uh, where the bloody hell was it? I'm probably being very silly right now. Do, do, do. But it's gonna bug me if I keep seeing like press circle. It's like, dude, it's not the. Oh, here's that controller. Come on. You'd think it would be in controls. See, that's the. Does that look like a? <laughs> We're already going off piece, aren't we? We're already going off piece. Oh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Cool. Very, very important, everybody. Right, we got it now. Uh, sorry, I was going to get back to your uh, your comments, Kat. You're saying it was uh, very, very good. Um, genuinely enjoyed the whole game, but then again, I really like escape rooms, and it felt like several escape rooms in a trench coat. Uh, that's perfect. You, you <laughs> imagine trying to get out of that. That's the trickiest damn uh, trench coat you'll ever did put on. I'll take it off again. Um, even got me a bit teary at one point. Yeah, bloody hell. It's it goes very um, very big. With uh, with the themes and the feels and whatnot, that's as far as I know. But yeah, again, I've I've not experienced the original game, and I feel like this is going to be one of those remakes where it's still going to be worth going back to experience the original game because uh, it's just pretty damn cool. Whoa! Okay, cool. What was that? Oh, that's nothing. Uh, yeah, I think apart from there being a weird sort of motion, like. The motion blurs off, but it's like we've got a blur anyway on our character. But hey, doesn't matter too much. Uh, fog so much, they renamed the city Foggy Hill. Right. Massive L boss man. Um, how can we? How can we? How can we get in? How do we get in? There are some uh, some bits where you like interact and it just does a dramatic like boom and then you know like a uh, pulled out camera angle and I don't know why <laughs> most blur really visible when watching him for 144p hey that's the that's the 90s vision man that's pretty cool excuse me excuse me that doesn't look like that should be happening sir okay Oh boy, I hope this PC is good enough to run it and OBS. It's a pretty good PC. It ran pissing cyberpunk, for Christ's sake. So, um, where's the fog? Where's the fog? I'm going to be... It would be rather upsetting if the fog is, like, super glitched out, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe that's the... There is a thing that I had on. Sorry guys, we will, we will, is it game being spooky or is it a visual glitch? Cyberpunk was also fixed now, yeah exactly. We, we got it on ultra performance guys, come on. If we just switch off that, into, whoops, entirely, and put on like, well maybe if we just keep it like that, you know? Right. There's still some flickeriness to it but you know we'll, we'll get by we'll get by it's no big deal it's kind of a big deal oh my god I've turned into one of them now although my my grass textures need 4k mod it's like dude just play the game man <gasps> Better do an angry tweet about it. I'll, I'll bloody well. I'll be screaming at the camera and blame like a DI or something because that's what idiots do now. Enough fogging about <laughs> for fog's sake. Woo! Very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, is it? I mean, the most important thing is, does it look okay for you guys? Because really, if it's really like glitchy and funky. Uh, why isn't this 8K 120fps grass? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so ironically, say the people that have not touched real grass in a long while. Oh, so, yeah. It's like that's all good in mind. Perfect. Groping around my skull. I like that. That's very very meta, James. Well done. Well done, mate. Uh, not Leon. Uh, 
Uh, Leno. It's climate change grass don't exist anymore. I oh, know. Bloody. Back in my day. Used to have grass. Can't even have that. Um, why are you looking at random gravestones, mate? My grass is only HD. Excuse me. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was just. Oh. Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. Does any? I'm kind of lost. Any experts have played lost? like the original game? Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Smooth. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's hard it's to see with girl. this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. <laughs> Hello, girl. Thanks. But... Yeah, especially in a graveyard. A foggy graveyard. <laughs> you should stay away. <laughs> Have you seen my dead wife? This, uh, <laughs> this town, there's something wrong with it. Mm -hmm. And there's it's something not wrong just with the your... fog either. How's that? <laughs> Sounded really harsh. There's something wrong dangerous. with your face. Sorry, Maybe. guys. And the hair is a bit... It's kind of hard to explain. A bit funky. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. <laughs> no, I believe you. It's just... Is there a dead wife button like, Jason? I, I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either. I'll be so good. But why? Hey, Insomnia Aaron. I'm and hello, Pissed Up. Someone. I'm looking for... Jason! <laughs> Me too. I'm looking Sean! For her. I'm looking I mean, for Sean! It's been so long since I've seen her. My wife? I thought. It's too now. It's too Borat. My father and brother were here. But I can't find them either. Anyway. I'm sorry. It's not your problem. No, I. Uh, I hope you find them. <laughs> Great success. Yeah. You too. I was gonna say, like, I really thought the voice actor was like spot on during this whole thing. It's like really good, like very sort of unnerving, awkward. And I, I wondered whether, like, how accurate that was, or even if that was the original. Um, those were the original voice lines in the original game. I'd imagine they probably. They probably did re-record stuff, right? But um, whether or not it's it's ha whoop, pardon me. Uh, sorry, I'm sick of all this this fog and all these weird uh, visual glitches. But not in my bloody uh, AAA game. Gaming's dead. But etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, rage baiting, load of bollocks. Uh, and then it was a rascal in the trench coat at all time. No! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about... Uh, yeah. Jason! The only game I platinum twice, mate. So good, they platinum it twice. So I, I, um, I spent a long while trying to like see if I could get in through all these, uh, all these bits here. Oh, spooky. Spooky. Try to tell if like the fog is... Excuse me, sir. Sir? Yeah, if the fog is like a bit different. Like it looks slightly less. Um... Ah, Silent Hill. So I think this was the bit where uh, they did a little nod to like a really bad uh, remaster slash remake in the past where they had the, uh, the sign that sign in, in Comic Sans. And I think like going out of bounds you can see it in the game world. Which is very, very uh very, very good. I'm sorry sorry, what we carrot? An ice cream van has just gone down your street. What? Assuming you're like you're like in the UK at this time. <laughs> that is insane in this weather. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Zach Bear, the dog is freaking out. The dog. The dog. The dig dog. Yeah, so I kept on trying to like, oh, can I get in here? Can I get in there? Um, but really, this is just walking around. 
looking through some, some spooky, turn, spooky bits. Imagine Pokemon with his graphics and sense, yeah. Well, maybe not with these graphics, because it's clearly some time. Anyway. Uh, that's not a dig at the game. That's a dig at this PC. Uh, yes. We'll go in here. Come on, Mr. Sunun. Let's have a look. What might be round here? Went to town and get the window fixed. Spare keys in the drawer. Um, <laughs> um, I spent a winter digging in Glasgow on site where they were going to put the Athletes Village for the Commonwealth Games. Sick. Um, an ice cream van was buzzing around the estates multiple times a day, every day. The chances it was selling ice cream are minimal. <laughs> Fair play, Drown and Badger. Jeez. That's, um, yeah. Yeah, fair, fair point. I hadn't really considered that aspect. I'm like, what are you doing selling ice cream Hello? this time? Ice cream. Ice Anyone cream? in here? Ice cream. Is anybody in here? <laughs> oh, man. There's some, some real um, Scotland appreciation going on in the chat now. Love it. Dalmanic sewage plant. Ugh, can't stand it. Yes, we'll be taking this. We'll, we'll just take a random person's, like a random stranger's keys. It's fine. Totally fine. There's something about, like I was saying earlier, right? This sort of ambient music feels. It's like, yeah, like. You'd very rarely get a modern game doing this sort of ambient music. It just feels like. You know, as, as modern as you make a game like this, you'd hear that sort of like sound tone and 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 whatnot, and you'd be like, "Man, that that feels a bit retro, a bit a bit nineties." Might just be me. Might be talking bollocks. You know, trespassing is second nature for the protagonist. Yeah, I mean, ask uh, old Linky Muck. Smash all your pots, guy. This is what we're talking about, right? What is this? What is this? Oh my god, don't bring it. That's a very modern thing. Please, I'm trying to like transport myself back to the 90s. <laughs> Psylog. Uh, so, so, yeah, and uh, you're talking about Siren Head. With uh, all, these, all these modern references, these modern horror references. Oh, it's like Skibbity Toilet, isn't it? <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't think you're wrong, Silog. It's very, uh, very fair point to make. To be fair, the ice cream vans tend to uh, oh, tend to carry bread, milk, grocery stuff, and the village I live in is full of old people, so it's really useful. Oh, that's fair. They don't usually run the chimes. <laughs> um, is that the bad guy from Cyberpunk? Pot smasher? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so definitely. Uh, Relative road work ahead. Yeah, sure hope it does. Ah, ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Brilliant. Mm. Sorry, we're just uh, kind of zooming through this ambiance. God damn, what ambiance though? Fantastic. Ambiance. What an artist. What a second. Ding dong dong. That's good, isn't it? It's real spooky so far. I tell you what, when I was playing, um, I I did one hundred percent like I, I I had to um, switch the lights off and everything for the full uh, the full effect, the full ambiance. Uh, no, I won't stop saying it like that. Shut up. Yeah, it's got to be done. Uh, I did that through most of, like, or tried to anyway, through uh, Alan Wake as well. Like, I'm, I'm not as, uh, yeah, not as, as well versed in the um, survival horror games. Not because I'm scared, all right? Not because I'm scared. Just, I, 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 I just don't want to, right? No, I um, 
I do keep meaning to like check out Resident Evils. I did play seven eventually. Um, I've seen a lot of gameplay through Village, so it feels like I played it at the very least. Um, it's a map, and it's wait, wait. Just the east side. That's interesting. I got, I got the west side uh, map, and I can't remember where I got that last night. But fair enough. Survival, but there's nothing there. It's just a walking sim. Shake my head. I know, right? See, yeah, yeah, I did get the west side as well. Interesting. Cool. Ooh. Well, I want to go to Happy Burger. Happy Burger looks great. Right, where are we going? Where are we going? On a nice, uh, nice holiday. We've got Big J's. We've got American Calf. Texan Calf. Yeah, we're going to call them Calfs. We're going to proper British. Um, Blue Creek Apartments. Yeah, I mean, look. There's so much, so much to see. So many sights. Hang on, wait, what, what direction are we facing? Oh yeah, I wanted to see what the, um, I don't think there's anything around here, but. I do, I do gots to explore everything. Gonna get some chocolate. Is anyone wiping while I'm up on my feet? Oh, uh, get some Cornetto. Cheers, wee carrot. Thanks, mate. Hello, Solo Quetzal. How's it going, mate? Man, city designed by SimCity noob. <laughs> Man. This guy clearly just uh, puts in the cheat code. And then gets, like, meteors to hit. You can have a twist rice lolly and you're like, Oh, I don't want a twist rice lolly. I want Cornetto. I wonder if these guys got a Cornetto. No. Okay. Hello. Anything in here? Nothing. Nothing around here. Um, this, however, is worth checking out. I, I completely skipped by it. Um, lovely. Flowers. Celebrating 70 years of flowers existing. Before that, want a fancy magnum ice cream or nothing at all? <sighs> you are. Oh, what's that? What's that noise? It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, it should do. <laughs> If we really wanted to go spooky, we should like switch off the lights here. But then you wouldn't be able to bloody see me, so it's um a tricky tricky balance. I mean that might be a benefit to be honest. <laughs> um Miss Cassandra. Customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. Tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off. Looked to me like I wasn't even there. Then he just left. Said he'd be back to pick him up later. I just want to let you know. This might be gone by then. Um, interesting. Uh, Miss Cassandra. It's not Miss Cassandra. It's someone talking to Miss Cassandra. But whoever that was, very interesting uh, accent that kind of flip-flopped about there. I'm checking the freezer. We have hundreds of twisters. One sad-looking Solero. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, that poor Solero. Oh, oh dear. I think somebody had a raspberry ice cream and spilt it. What is this? How can someone look at you as if you're not there? Yeah, because you're... Exactly. They're not looking at you if they don't think you're there. Because you're not there. If a, if a person gets looked at in the woods and they're not there, does it make a sound? Exactly. Yeah, think about it. That's just ice cream. I think it's just ice cream. I hope so. Right, come on then. I uh, <laughs> I did see the. Um, I, I think I've seen like the image before doing the rounds, but like the um, uh, looking for my missing wife fit, and it's like this guy. It's Alan Wake. Um, it's a couple other geezers, you know, you know the sorts. Oh, um, matey from Racy Seven. I despair. No. <laughs> oh, buddy, you do need to get them. Uh, them fancy magnums. That will probably be my, my ice cream choice, actually. A fancy, a good fancy magnum. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, not more raspberry jam. Raspberry oh, ice cream. Stuff. I love it. He's like, that stuff. I mean, it, we, we know what it is, mate. We know what it is. Somebody spilt their ice cream. You silly bugger. Okay. Now, 
in the interest of exploring every little bit because I kind of went down the other area. I, I don't like getting locked out of areas as you progress. Definitely one of those where like, you know, playing your, your old school RPGs back in the day, you, you figure out which there's, there's like two pathways in a dungeon and if you think that, uh oh, this is progression, I'm going to double back and get all the other, you know, all the other secret goodies. Yeah, definitely, um, I was definitely one of those crazy people. Um, yeah, big wall. Impressive, honestly. A very impressive wall. Hmm. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Doop, 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 doop. Gonzalez, Mexican restaurant. Very cool, very cool. Can we go in? It's closed, for goodness sake. Funny we have smell o vision I don't think you want it for this sort of game. Jesus. Hmm. But yeah, it's, um, I suppose this game didn't, like, it doesn't lock you out of going back, or at least not as far as I went, which wasn't very far at all. But it was a bit like, ah, oh, I, I was hoping for a shortcut, and they didn't give me a shortcut yet. Um, Lord knows what happened. Hey, Dead Eye Minis, how's it going, mate? Boo! Oh, jeez! You, you gotta warn us before you scare us like that, man. You can't just be typing boo in the chat, dude. Dude. Gonna startle us. Uh, Texan calf, right. Well, that was on our um, must visit list, you know. That's on the trip advisor list, right? Recommended. Gotta be. 4.75 out of 5 rating. Pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. Um, right then. Go on, let's go find your family. I want my family back. Well, we've. <laughs> <laughs> we once again. I'm glad it's got the cutscene there, so we wouldn't miss the obvious thing, to be honest. No scary booze in chat, only unhappy booze. Boo! No! Only boo earns! Please! Hey! Wait! My. Oh. My fragile mental state can't handle any booze right now. Of any kind. Could it be? Is that Harambe? Oh, Harambe, you're back. <laughs> it was um just the other day. Um, anybody who's obviously yeah, most of you will be aware of and or watch Coaholic anyway. Um, Aiden, our our chief like wow, well, um, Coaholic's like chief news guy, um, news writer. He's, uh, <laughs> just, like, uh, talking about, you know, people being gone too soon. And he mentions, um, yeah, just like Harambe. It's like, it was so long ago. Goodness sake. Obviously, the wounds haven't healed yet. Which is, which is a shame. Anyway. Sorry, I'll stop talking over the spooky ambiance. Solid coop. Tribal editor in chief. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, always on the pulse. I tell you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Anyway, a Rambe's our dead wife. What? What happened here? Oh my god. Oh. Huh. Well. Okay. Well. Um. I mean, we probably could just hop down a little bit, but we don't want to get this nice. You know looking for my missing wife look. Uh, we don't want to get that day. Okay, so that's that's basically what I missed when I sort of went down a little uh, side passage. That's fair enough. Be a rickroll link on the site next. <laughs> that might be no, that might be a little bit too current. Spooky. It's gonna be spooky. What's gonna be down here? Oh, I'm sure it'd be fine. Okay. 
Oh. I'm ready. Are you ready? Nothing weird's gonna happen. Everything's totally fine. Oh. Oh. I will say, I didn't play with the headphones. But that definitely adds something to the experience. You know what I did do, though? I'm like, <laughs> what's over there then? <laughs> Hello? Oh, can't see anything. Trying to click camera around. Can't see anything. I think we'll find them. <laughs> you know, James, I'm sure the other downstream worked out that you've played Cyberpunk on all but one stream in 2024. Well, two now. The other was the definitely good game Skull and or Bones. I think there was maybe one or two extra things. I feel like we've done another, like, oh, let's check out this game as a one-off kind of streams, but honestly, what? Surprise me. Surprise me. Hello? Um, my dude? My dude? Well, what a game to, uh, to interrupt the streak, though. Yeah, that was, that was, that was hella cool. You did do Super Mario 64 for the stream. Yes, yes, good, good remembering now. And also the Goblin in a Twitch game. Man, Free Goblin Wobbling was the most amount of fun I've had with like a silly short game in quite a long time. And I didn't expect it to be that silly. That was so good. Yeah, nice work, guys. Nice work. I could shout with the Super Mario one as well. That was the, uh, the Chariot one, wasn't it? Look around, find objects marked with white cloth. Those are our uh, subtle environmental cues. Better than yellow paint. Everybody uh, bitched and moaning about yellow paint. Well, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Perpetual motion. Perpetual motion can. They said it couldn't be done. Brilliant. Well, I'm not being funny. If we're, if we're seeing that, are you crawling into that tiny little hole? When you've already seen a weird figure stumbling through, bleeding, and you're hearing lots of spooky noises. <laughs> hey, Snacky Chan, how's it going? Welcome to Night City. Well, it's not Night City, it's Fog City. Uh, Fog Town. Um, yeah, how you doing, mate? You're right. Whoa. Our wife might have crawled in there, though. And then, uh, uh, my wife. Wife. Well, wasn't it Mary, was it? Have you had to climb many hills yet? Um, no, no, not yet. Well, it's hard to find any hills because they're so bloody quiet. <laughs> oh God! All right, I'll stop. I do wish to overwrite. I wish to overwrite that joke. Uh, doing good, good. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm so spooked, mate. I'm spooked. So scary. It's mostly just been noisy so far, but I'm very scared. This is going to be the test of the audio, whether we need to turn it down or not, but hey. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was going to... It's going to ramp up for a second. Goodies. Mmm. Generic health drink. Obvious question, but it's... <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's the remake. It's the new remake. It is... Pretty damn good so far. Then again, I've only played like, you know, a um, couple hours yesterday as well. Um, but it is a very, very good, mate. Um, the original was, yeah, I'm pretty sure the original was kind of like Resident Evil where it was like fixed camera angles and stuff, right? Um, it's expensive. I got it slightly cheaper on, on Steam. But yeah, it's, uh, it depends. If you really love like these sort of games, uh, definitely worth it if you really loved the original Silent Hill, but you're not one of those crazy people who's like, oh, well, the original's always going to be better. Oh, this is rubbish because, you know, minor point here and there. Um, if you're a reasonable person, <laughs> then yeah. Uh, what do you think the health drink tastes like? Is there chicken tendy in the fridge? Hang on, let's have a look. Chicken tendy! Oh, bloody eight. <laughs> Just, ugh, man. Oh, chicken tendy! Bloody hell. Who's calling it that? It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be the other guys in there calling it chicken bloody tendy. <laughs> <laughs> the original didn't have mild motion blur when you turn. That's true. That's true. Not 
switch it off and all, but it's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. you can't tell from here. Anyway, let's go investigate that noise like any sane person would. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Timmy with at this point. It's like, the wife ain't worth it. <laughs> Just be polygamous. Sorry, dead wife. I mean, totally alive wife. We don't know if she's alive or not, wife. You died three years ago, apparently, wife. My wife? Is that... Is that... Used to be dead wife? Um... Oh my god, what timing, Jesus. Absolute banger. Thank you so much, Richie Head, for uh, for the raid there. Amazing. Welcome, everybody. We've got... Um, welcome, Raiders. Harambe, no! Oh, we've, we've just got to the very spooky bit in Silent Hill where we find our previously assumed Friendly deceased, um, Harambe. We found our dead wife, Harambe, everybody. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And... A gifted sub. Thank you very much, Stephen, for gifting a sub to Richie Head. Amazing. Um, sorry, let me just let me just scroll up the chat. Let's have a little look. See, uh, mouse, please, please. Um, to us, for you guys uh, who did game reviews, uh, get the games for free. Uh, some of the time, but we don't really do reviews in this this channel, unfortunately. Uh, God, it would be nice to have full reviews, but then it's also not work. Um, <laughs> we got we got spiky stick. Stay back! Stay back! Damn it, Harambe! I don't want to have to do this! Oh no! This is this is unfortunate. This is bringing back some unfortunate. No! Harambe! I don't want to do this! No! Oh bloody hell! It's um, it's 2016 all over again. Was it 2016? I can't remember which year. It's happening again. <laughs> Is that thing? Well, I don't know, mate. Man, Harambe 2. Jesus. Well, that was exciting. Goodbye! Well, what? Oh, that's too loud! Shh, it is Silent Hill, you're right. Goodbye, Ben. Say, say goodbye to Bike Boy Ben. He hasn't got his bike today, so it's fine. To not, not Bike Boy Ben. <laughs> Big boy, bike boy. <laughs> amazing, amazing one. Well, yeah, that was uh, that was that was hell spooky. Bye, Haram uh, Ben. <laughs> Man, we were just mourning, we were just mourning the uh, unfortunate demise of Harambe again. Are we? Are we going crazy? Have we already gone through here? No, we haven't. Have we? B -b -b bike boy. We'll take a, a syringe. There we go. Remember, don't be greedy. Always share your needles. <laughs> don't, 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 don't be stupid. Clearly a joke. Right. Well, it's afternoon. <gasps> Woo! Oh yeah. Um, press the right trigger to break glass and touch grass. Whoa! Speaking of, action hero jump. Amazing. D but. Sorry. I'm losing signal. Can you hear me now? The, the hair is noticeably a bit fuzzy. I hope it's okay on stream. But the hair is really bad. Doctor's hate. <laughs> ah! J Jame. <laughs> Just don't talk to anyone. That could be anyone. That could be anyone. It's too late, the gorilla's dead again. <laughs> Silent, no. Oh, Saki Chan, hashtag bye Ben, be safe leaving Silent Hill. Yes, it is the return of the long hashtags. James Jenkins for TTJ president, we love you, James2024. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I support that hashtag in all of its glory. And to be honest, I'm amazed I managed to get through it. <laughs> Without stumbling over it a little bit. I did a little bit, but hey. We did it. We did it, everybody. 
Mary! Oh, Mary. Sweet Mary and Joseph. Look, it, it's this specific, like, sounds, tone, soundscape sort of thing. It just feels very, like, um... That is almost reminiscent of, you know, like, PS2. Uh, memory card menu music, isn't it? I'm off try hard one next time. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, only two lines worth. Who's that? If only just Neely's. So, this is it. Like, you're following, like, a very, very random string of clues here where you're like, oh, well, this obviously must mean something, right? He just killed a living thing and he's skipping about. I know, I know. Disgusting, isn't it? Oh, I'm just going to put it on the tourist map. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, must go to the bar. Yes, it's a good idea. He's killed, like, some horrific thing. He's killed Harambe, for goodness sake. If you're reading this, Lee, this place is not what it seems. Sometimes you just have to look behind. And I like this, in that you flip it around, you're like, oh, look behind. Okay. And then I thought, oh, look behind here, right? Nothing. Nothing. Um... Oh, it's remind you of uh, a mix of Outlast and Evil Within. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think... Um, I think with the 3D effects, yeah. It, oh, my... What? Where? Where is it? Was that the whole looking behind thing? No, no. Was I blind? Did, it, did you guys see that? Um, PS2, she's radio edit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, where the hell did it go? Did it crawl off there? <laughs> One in a hundred. You have got that bang on me. This is an average British town. Uh, in an <laughs> average town in the UK. At any given, like most months of the year. You know, typically foggy. Definitely dreary. Um, place of the state. I don't like how spooky it is. Hey, I think I missed this save point last time. No, wait, no, I did get that. There's no way I'd miss that. I thought Oklahoma. <laughs> get, get some real, uh, real, uh, <laughs> variation there. Um, uh, also, hello, Leonard. How you doing, mate? Uh, wonderful editor. Um, I thought Oklahoma. To me with Blythe. Yeah. Yeah. I only ever visited London. Definitely going to Silent Hill next time. It's, um, same vibes. Slightly busier. Uh, probably the same amount of, like, creepy monsters and things walking about. Just the crowds, man. Won't go up on the ground. Uh, it's amazing how well this has actually turned out, considering the poor reaction to Trey's got. I know, right? Richie Head, it's, um... Honestly, like, mega props to uh, Bloober Team for, like, you know... And, and uh, no, everybody doubted them. Everybody gave a load of, talked a load of smack about it. Um, especially with that, that early trailer. But they took that, that advice on board. They darked it up. The fog looks amazing. Even on the, you know, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, speaking of actually, that graphically we are on quite low settings because it's a pretty, excuse me. Can you turn down the spook noises for one second, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, this is actually a very, very demanding game in terms of um, graphical fidelity. Uh, oh, God, not another one. Not another one? Oh, another one, Harambe! Dead wife! <laughs> um, man, it's absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, well, everything's bloody work, isn't it? Can't even enjoy a trip to uh, Silent Hills because you woke. It's like, what, what, what is wrong with you people? Come on. Hello? Uh-oh. That's the radio going, going absolutely sick. Yeah, I don't understand why people are... Oh, hey, buddy! Uh, 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 stay down, stay down, yeah, little... Weirdo. Get out of here. I love how you can just keep... Stop, stop, he's already dead! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely insane. Um, yeah, but uh, you may need to re-answer my question. Sorry. So, um, the... Yeah, good point. The 
graphics are on low because it is a very demanding game and uh, yeah and, and even though this PC is definitely no slouch I think with the the streaming as well it sort of auto picked most of the lowest settings but whoa just just mucking around with a mouse there um, let me just go back we, we got a lot of got a lot of uh, a lot of messages but yeah um, blue team did very well you're right it did need a good game uh, you're right mr. black um, but, but, but yeah, from what I've seen, ray tracing is some of the most effective in any game. I managed to get the um, my man PC at home is is uh, ray traceable, <laughs> for want of a better term, and it is uh, oops, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even that was um, you know, it's a pretty decent PC, but was struggling to run it at full. 60 FPS with, with all of the bells and whistles, so like, yeah. Um, should we go in here? Should we have a look? Should we have a look, see? <laughs> Door's right there. Screw it. We're going in. Hey, hey, hey. We did it, guys. I'm um, see. <laughs> I'm woke since I'm not asleep. Exactly. Exactly. Definitely Oklahoma Simulator. So violent. Just like the zookeeper. Yeah, yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, one in a hundred. That's that's what we're we're hoping for. We're hoping for some rainbow fog on later levels. And then we're gonna be fuming about it, we're gonna be spitting at the camera, delivering our stupid bloody um vlog about it. So I had a quick look at the stats. Not only did Jet Oh no. Okay, moving on, moving on. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Sorry, I'm just catching up with the comments here. Uh Lord Brovich. He's had a quick look at the stats. Not only did James not only play Cyberpunk, we had a Skull and Bones stream, a Baldur's Gate stream. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sid Meier's Pirates, of course, that was so good. A Pacific Drive stream, a Super Mario stream, the Free Goblins Wobblins, and then this. So much variety. Thank you. Thank you, you know what? Yes, thank you, Lord Bravich, for, for being in my corner. <laughs> um, ooh, ooh, really? Richie Head, sorry, it's uh, taken a while to, to get to the comments there, but if you put a... Um, Min uh, minus oh, dash the X11 in the shortcut settings it runs a lot better so yeah, yeah I've had to mess around with previous games like that where um, you put it in like the launch settings and whatnot and it just forces uh, direct X11 to run that's very good I went to score for ray trace port of course you did Mr. Black <gasps> good lord <laughs> playing on PC yeah yeah uh, I don't know what PS5 is like um, it's it's exclusive for PS5 on a year uh, for a whole year by the way as well uh, so it's not on Series X, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the bar in the world set. <laughs> Always on my side until you, I do a swear. Uh, well, that's a load of f flip, isn't it? Um, oh, that is dark. I even upped the bloody gamma, didn't I? Um, that might have been before. But we'll, um, if we get to a particularly dark area, we will up the gamma again. Uh, well, obviously, we've got to press that button first and then open it. And wow! Such, such puzzling. Much clevers. Uh, what? Who's that? Uh, sorry, mate. Closing time. Last call. Oh. Oh, closing time, James. Last call. Got me a pint. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Hey, we got we got some golden eye quotes in there. We're doing well. Um, spilled beans over an honest cup of coffee, and I can't help but think a lot of these things are going to be very very subtle metaphors for stuff that may or may not happen um, later in the game. <laughs> yes, mate. For England, James. No, for me. And drinks his pint. And then condemns Sean Bean to another death. No, for Maria. <laughs> no, it's Mary, not Maria. We're looking for our dead wife, Mary. Sorry, actually, no, 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 it's, it's dead wife for Ambe. Oh, oh, oh no, there was a bit of. Debris, did you see that flying off in the distance? Gentlemen's, eh? Oh. 
How you like that? There we go. Would a gentleman do this? <laughs> Where's Maria from? Oh, hello. Um, where is she from? Maria. Nice to meet you. Um, I saw him again. Or at least I think so. He says he didn't, but I don't know anymore. I'm tired. Can't find it. Doesn't matter. That scraping noise again. Ah, yes. Environmental storytelling notes. Love it. Love it. Oh, no. Wait. God damn, I, I don't know why I pressed Y there. Um, there's a good job you don't drink up the health potion. That's what it is, it's a health potion, let's be honest. So yeah, we need to head. We're directly down here, except we can't. We can go... Wait a minute. Have we got in here yet? No, we haven't. Library time. Let's read some books like a massive nerd. <laughs> Silent Hill. Uh, not reading all that. Um, I'm sorry that happened, though. Uh, oh yeah, this is about um, dowsing. These crazy, crazy dowser people came along, and then other people were like, "That's not very scientific." Whatever, get out of here, nerd. Um, dowsing, I believe I, I might be wrong, but I believe it's the thing where you're you're holding the sticks and you're like, "Oh, look, look, there's water here," whilst you're clearly moving the sticks um, in your hands. <laughs> I might have some other... I don't like that. I don't like it. Like, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are here. Because... That would be genuinely off-putting. I did have a couple of startled moments playing last night. It's, it's... The atmosphere is impeccable. Much like a fine weather experience, the atmosphere is impeccable. Mary from Silent Hill, Mia from Resident Evil, ah, and Maria from the other horror game. I think horror games have a fascination with the wife's name. Start with them, yeah. And there'll be, uh, there'll be Mandy, I guess. Uh, what else? What else you got? I know what Dowson is from Shaman King anime. Oh, I don't know what that is, but yeah. Super strong, super clean. Wash away the stains of yesterday. Yes, James. Salud. Go on, go on with your with your weirdly shiny hair on these low graphic settings. That is, it looks like he's bleach blonde there. That is pretty funny. I'll have to have a uh, a bit of a fiddle around with the with the settings because I think we can do better. Because right, it's still running pretty smooth now. You know what? Let's try it. Let's have a look right bloody now. Uh, frame rate cap, V sync's on, which is nice. But it was only because we were doing uh same hair colour as Cody Rose, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do we want to put that on again? It's only because we had like a slight glitchiness before. Um But then then we can put other stuff up. I've heard the shaders and the shadows are the big problem. Uh Friendly Ghost. Oh, Jesus, it's Happy that time again, isn't it? 20 B -B 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 blazing, my dude's Lord 16 <gasps> Do you hear that? Huh? No? Me no. neither. Because no. here are some silent <laughs> jokes for you. Have you ever heard of silent tennis? It's essentially tennis, but without the racket. Ah, very good. What do the Vikings call their silent language? Norse code. Hi, E. <laughs> what is the quietest Jesus. food to eat? Shush kebabs. Ho, ho, ho. What will happen if you silence an ant? It'll become mutant. Ha ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you call oh. a quiet sheep? Sheep. Hi. <laughs> Moggy fog. Moggy fog. Foggy mog. Amazing work. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stephen. And thank you very much, Lord Protovich, for the bits there. Some bloody... D d some some jokes. Some jokes were had. Allegedly. Um, they like, what was it? The ant? It becomes mute, mute ant? 
I mean, okay, it's not it's not terrible, but it was. I think the delivery was really bad. Um, robot lady, gotta do better. I feel like all of these are gonna be pretty bad. Maybe, maybe we put that on. Maybe we put that on. Right, let's see how we do with slightly pimped out graphics. Is your hair a bit less weird now, mate? I mean, we're, we're, we're too zoomed in for a start. It's still a bit shiny, but whatever. Whoa, whoa. What can you do, huh? Now we can't get through there. What was the... There is a way, though. There is a bloody way. Oh, I like this. Look. Day laundry. Ugh. Some jokes of some quality. Well... Is there a way to get in there? I swear there was. Go on, ask. I flipping did. Hmm. You know what we can do? Bam! Ha 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 ha! And we're out of there. Accurate. Accurate fabrication, right? Accurate, accurate fabrication and welding. Cool, cool. Uh, I can see the F there. Don't give an F, bro. Whoa. See, that doesn't give an F. This, this dude. Or, do that or. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Bosh. Bosh. Ow. Harambe, why? Why? This is for your own good. Stop headbutting us, please. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, gotcha. Also, the weird outline. That's interesting. He's still, he's still... Right, okay, good. Yeah, the outline thing I've had on... That's just a hooligan. That's football. That's your typical football hooligan, actually. Uh, let's have a nice... Mmm, tasty health drink. Oh, a nice Yazoo. Where are we going here? Is this the way? This is where we came. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this where we came from? No, it's not, actually. Bruv. Bruv! Oi! Stop with your bloody Millwall hooliganism! Jesus! It's actually, uh, yeah, I think someone said it was either Stoke on Trent or Blythe. So it said Blythe. I can, I can attest for Blythe looking like that if we're talking about the Northern Blythe. Because it is a flip hole. You know, I don't think I... Uh, did I come in here before? No, I think I did, actually. This is the diner, isn't it? That man was here again. I told him he'd be warned not to come here. He acted like he didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, he got up and left. Did he make any sort of fuss, but there was something about him that gave me the creeps. When I look at his face, it's like I'm staring at a mask. And there's something underneath. Waiting to get out. I don't want to be there when that happens. <laughs> Okay, we'll be more interested if Will Ospreay was a protagonist. Um, wrestler. Average silent hero accent. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the spookums coming from, huh? Who is doing all the spooky spooks? Come on now. Own up. Who is it? Which one he is? Well, it was flipping one of yous. One tit. Can we. That bit is locked up, okay. And it's a you know what? Again. Again, dying in the bloody settings. Again. Um just wanted to up the gamma just a little bit more. Okay. Like I know the really dark bits should be dark, but I feel like that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. This is for you. For you lovely people. Oh hey. Oh hi Mark. Did wife? Did wife haram? Oh it's another Millwall hooligan. Get out of here. Way. Football's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. I think dark should be dark. Yeah. Hey look. Tell me I'm wrong. You know. Well, you're gonna deny that that's a fact. 
you think dark should be light? It's crazy. Uh, knife grease, I have anything to do with it, grease, bloody hell. I mean, look, I didn't even bother with the, with watching it, because it's England, and we're going to be rubbish. God, we, we had a few glorious years of being like, oh yeah, we're hopeful, and now it's back to the old, look, I've, I've seen this whole thing play out before, in the so-called golden generation, you know. Oh, we can't play both Gerard and Lampard in midfield, and then also just shift skulls out to the bloody left. As if he's not the best one out of the bloody three by a country mile, but whatever. So I'm not biased or anything. Hello. Oh, oh, cheeky one. Oh, running away. Oh, hey, buddy. Get out. Get, look at him. <laughs> that did creep me the hell out, but like the first time I saw it. But it's, it's funny. It is very funny, objectively. Oh, you're, you're beautiful, you bloody, you know, you half-time pine. And your pocket pie. Everyone seems to know the score. The seed it all before. That's true. Just hug him. He's so touch soft. Oh, oh no. This is going to be a great, uh, that's the real horror, isn't it? A greater commentary on the, um, you know, the the epidemic of, of male loneliness. I uh, I don't know why I did that. That's very disparaging because it is a it is a real problem, um, and it's pretty bad. Uh, but I do that in the context of like you know some uh, some football hooligans who are like, well yeah you do that but then you also act like a bit of a dick. So. Oh, the stuttering. Yeah, that's apparently a Silent Hill Tavern. You get a cheeky pint. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll head over to Silent Hill Tavern and wait for this whole thing to blow over. How about that? How's that? How's that for a slice of fried gold? Uh, where to? Is it here, actually, that we need to go? <laughs> Pardon me. I think it is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ignore all of those worrying noises. I'm sure it's fine. Hey, we found it. Getting quite close to where I played up to. But hooligans can look up. Yes, to be worth exactly. Uh, here, I don't know what got into him. He just started smashing the thing. Had to throw him out. He ran off, cried he'd fix everything. Oh, gavel at what could. Stunt found one of the buttons. Half the record's still lodged inside, isn't it? But the other part's missing. Figured he must have taken it. Go and think of it. It did run towards Groovy. Anyway, maybe go check up on him, see if he's alright. He lives over at Seoul by the pharmacy. Apartment 9. Bloody silly bollocks, innit? Um, cool. So I'll just, you know, check off my. Oh, nearly his bar coin. What do you mean it doesn't fit in the goddamn. Alright, fine. I do wonder if that's... So I haven't solved this puzzle yet. Um, because it is a little bit involved. Well, actually, yeah, we've got we got light puzzle solving, haven't we? So maybe we don't have to go as far for this one. Itchy. Tasty. I do love that. I do love that. Um, this, right? As, uh, did we start in a shift... Um, have any of you uh, beautiful people played the original Silent Hill 2? Is this just a reference to what would have been there before? There was a hole here. It's gone now. Because that, without the context, that feels like they're um, they're doing a cheeky nod to, like, the original level design or something. Oh, what have we got here? His hair's not quite as weird in cutscenes now. I think we... We might have fixed it. Fixed your hair, fake Leon. Leno. Um, N Nilo. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll go. Please, mate. Oh! Well, you've, you've absolutely flipped that, haven't you? That was easier. We had to do some other messing around before. 
They could have just written, we changed the game here, lol. <laughs> yeah, I know. Real. Well, if you want to be meta about it, you might as well do that. Ooh. Okay, then. Good, good, good. So, yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting you can do a quick... Always, always a fun one with these sorts of survival horror games. But yeah, it's, uh, it's very... Uh... Yeah, I do love the... Um... The games, the, the modern survival horror games that like allow you to do a quick turnaround. Um, I think obviously Resident Evil and like Alan Wake had it as well. Alan Wake was such a good game. Looking forward to the um, the DLC. Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> kind of skint, so um, and arguably I shouldn't spend money on this, but whatever. Um, so I may have to wait a little while for that. Uh, Psylog, art director Masahiro Ito recalls the origin of the whole message. Oh! Coming from either environment artist Takeshi Miura or scenario writer Hiroyuki Iwaku. Um, he speculated that the message could symbolize that James Sunderland no longer has anywhere to hide from himself. Ooh! Oh, that's good. So it does have a whole. D <laughs> it does have a whole, whole deeper meaning than just like a. Uh, a meta commentary. Is it when it gets really loud, by the way? Is it is it too sort of drowning me out or is it fine? As it oh, oh I see you! I see you! Oh you cheeky little fella! Oh I see you trying to hide! Oh 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 you little scamp! Come here, come here buddy! This is real cheeky fuck! Oh what you like? You're dead now! You that's what you like. You're bloody dead now. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really cool. That's um, like this is this is what I gathered from this game. It's like it's absolutely bloody drenched in symbolism and metaphors and all sorts. And, oh, can we ring our friend uh, Alan? Alan woke. Die too bloody woke you day. Oh bloody yeah. Jeez, doesn't matter the noise. We can just shut them. Up. <laughs> That's basically how we went about this this situation. Up, up, up. Yeah, we got we got someone else. Oh, this was the source of the um, the fun puzzle that I found earlier. Or last night even. Ah, oh, what is going on? Eh? What's going on? What? Whoa! There he goes. Oh, it's so funny when you like get over the initial shot. That is very good. Man. This is why I gotta like, you know, I gotta really get into the ambience of it. The, oh, sorry, the ambiance. Um, really gotta like, you know, uh, switch off, switch off lights. You know, ideally headphones on. I will try that um, when I next play this. But yeah, um, just to yeah, just to really get immersed into it. Because usually with these horror things, it, it takes a little bit to, to get to me. I, it can it can get to me. I'm not saying I'm impervious to the spookums. Take a drink every time James says, Ambulance. <laughs> See, I didn't say that. I said, Ambulance. Which is what those guys are going to need, am I right? Uh, so, this is this is very funny. This did make me laugh. So, I checked from 0000 to 4013. Took almost two hours. Had to one. Had to had to one. And then checked that one. I feel like I'm so close. He got up to 4439. You'll see. Sooner or later, you'll all see. And then, uh, beautiful drawing. Beautiful drawing. Cheers, mate. Um, so, I know from uh, Stamp Self Dressed. Stop self trust I'm be a loop. <laughs> um, oh, he's got a stick out. He's got a big sticker. Ah! Stupid little bugs! Get out of here! Those things really, uh, really mad because I couldn't see what was attacking me when I first came across them. So, yeah, uh, we go back to the um, general store. General store. Um, when I say go back to, we haven't really visited yet. Yeah, we want to go up to... Oh, yeah, yeah, we go up to Groovy Music as well as the apartment. So I haven't been to the apartment. Sorry, I haven't been to the music store yet. 
So maybe I served under General Store. <laughs> yes. Um, he was um, he was brutal actually. He was an absolutely ruthless leader. Yeah, yeah. And well, guess what? Guess what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Way football, football. Oh, that's right, that's right. I, I studied your moves, Sonia. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get out of, come back here, you little. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, you die. Bit of a totally normal oblivion guard. Voice the line there. I remember when he was private store, yeah. Couldn't, um, couldn't get in half the time, could you? Uh, why do they walk around like they need to do it? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, that is, that is a pretty spot on, spot on analysis there. I'm like, oh, I really need blue. Anyone? Anyone? Oh, all that for one tiny bug. But it is pretty funny, though. It's pretty unnerving, and then you're like, oh, thank God, it's just a bug. But then you don't know, like, it could be more. It could be more. Right. So we got up to 4439, right? I think. Uh, 4440. Okay, so we're just going to carry on, right? 4, 1. Four, 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 two. Interesting. I had to go up to four, 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 four on normal difficulty. So, so by that logic, so normal difficulty is four, 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 four. Easy puzzle difficulty is four, 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 two. And so, like hard logic would be, you know, you gotta go up to seven thousand something. Obviously. That is a weird, a weird difference in uh, puzzle difficulty there. Like, yeah, technically it is quicker, but really, what are you, what are you losing out? I, I like the fact, either way, either way, right? I like the fact that it, it knows what most sort of uh, gamer logic people would do. Yeah, like, if you've played any sort of game like this with similar puzzles, yeah, we've got some handgun ammo, let's go. Um, now all we need is a gun to put it in. Um, hey Alexa, where's the gun in Silent Hill 2 Remake? Well, I can't hear what she's saying, but, you know. Um, yeah, I do love the fact that, like, you'd see that, and, uh... You just, you know, you just pick up where they left off and just keep brute forcing it. Like, worth worth a few goes. And I think they they sort of cut it off just before you, uh... Oh, I thought it was a pick-up thing there. Just before you would give up normally and think, oh, that's dumb. But you'd at least... You would at least try it for a few goes, wouldn't you? There was another... I feel like there's another... This. Oh, well, that's something I didn't find before. So. Mwah. Mwah. Is this game based on your life? Is Sunderland your pseudonym? <gasps> Sunderland! Um, yeah, it's, it's so close to Newcastle. It's like, you know. Um, it's why no one would ever suspect. It's like, oh, why would someone living in Newcastle call himself Sunderland? Um, but you're right, you've, you've got me. You've got me. Um, oh, Jesus. Is there, is there, like, even that's, that's even too dark for this TV. This is crazy. Um, well, I could have sworn that was a sneaky secret elsewhere, but I think we've, uh, we've exhausted it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm constantly, you know, walking around, basically, as we established, any town in the UK, I mean, minus the crazy, like that's that's too advanced. We wouldn't have them hanging on, uh, hanging off of uh, like cables like that. That's crazy. 
And also a bit of a... Look at how they're, they're waggling around. That feels like a safety hazard. James Stadium Alight Jenkins. <laughs> so good. God, you can't, you can't encourage me to shout that. We are in Newcastle. We're gonna get stabbed. I mean, this might as well be as well. Fogger and the Tyne. Um, the cables are there for Harambe to swing about. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, be a pair of shoes hanging from me. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> uh dear. Right, where are we going? We're heading. Oh, Big J's? Oh, mate. Hell yeah, we're going to go Big J's. It's right here. Sick. I'm so unironically hyped for this. <laughs> hey guys, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness is getting a remaster. Oh, that's what you're, you're hyped for. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's pretty... Oh no, wasn't that one of the... Uh, <laughs> wasn't that one of the notoriously not so good ones? I can't remember. All I'm saying is I'm pretty sure that's been on worse games before. Oh look, we got, we got actual reflections now. Damn! Damn, son. We got the radio. <laughs> hey, look, look. Is, is it the worst? Not the worst. It's just worse than most. Oh, bugger off. You can smash the, the game is encouraging us to, like, you know. That's <laughs> uh, very first Team Trippin video you watched. Oh, no! No, no! Oh, he's got us! You little bugger. Okay, go on, sit down! God damn it! Oh, you can't! But these bloody football hooligans drinking too much half time and vomiting all over the gaff. Drug hotline. Speaking of which, yeah, that reminds me. You just got me a world way! <laughs> yeah. And ironically, love Age of Darkness. Hey, is it for all that? That's good. That's good stuff. Uh, I think it's a brilliant story and looks great for the time, but is let down by the mechanics. Hey, that's no. That's um, yeah, fair play. I'm I'm glad because I I I'm, you know, I've got no skin in the game anyway. But even if someone's like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, this game is um, bad by most critical consensus. If people find enjoyment out of that game still, then that's fantastic, you know. And I do love uh, my fair share of like. Pretty janky games, anyway. Um, anywho, hello, J hello James, and hello to the waterman. Hello, Tasty Mario. How you doing? How you doing, good? Yeah, the remaster is also going to include Last Revolution, Revelations, and Chronicles. Nice. That's it as well. It's beautiful, beautiful nostalgia. Hmm. Must have been the win. <laughs> Angel of Darkness made Peter swear. That's that's uh, that's saying something. Man, I feel like, well, to be fair, they both can be pretty sweary at times, but I think uh, they're both very disciplined with worse games, especially these days, or anything filming-wise. Hmm. What have we got around here? I know this is not the, um, the place to be, but I want to do a little bit of exploring, because I've not been here yet. Oh, weird bugs. Oh, no. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Get stomped on, fool. Ha, ha, ha. Sucker. <laughs> this Silent Hill 2 remaster is good, but i got to say, I wish I'd remade Silent Hill 1. Or Shattered Memories. Ooh. I don't know. See, I've not played any of any of the originals before. Uh, lovely spot for a beverage outside, you damn strain. You know what? We'll have ourselves a health beverage. Mm -mm -mm. Um, nice, nice dressmaker's dummy there. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely fair point. In the early two thousands, fit on the ground for uh, for gals as video game protagonists. So yeah, Lara Croft. I mean, she's one of the one of the iconics, one of the OGs. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, you've got like. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting that. Ah, a bit, a bit sniffly. I'm getting a bit emotional. Um, yeah, you've obviously got um, uh, Miss Metroid, Lady Lady Samus Metroid, 
Um, which, I mean, she definitely counts, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's slightly different because, like, she's mostly wearing that, um, that armor and everything. And uh, what the hell? The doors quaked in darkness. Open oh, into nightmares. It's fantastic. Oh, my goodness me. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would want to go in there. Are you kidding me? No thanks, mate. Where are we? We're up there. Okay. Um, but yes, as uh, as you guys were saying earlier, like um, it, it'll be it'll be so nice if we saw like a Silent Hill one remaster as well, at the very least um, of this. But well, I don't know. I say that it'd be very nice if you know. Blue Team took this this win and then move on to do like another original thing because they had some good ideas, good concepts. Um, the medium was a very very clever idea. It's just they didn't execute super well on it. It's a problem. Uh, drink coffee besides drinking coffee beside dead bugs and trash cans. Yeah, that, that was a great spot for a nice drink of coffee. Wasn't it? Um, in the olden days, Silent Hill to me was a better horror game than Resident Evil, but Resident Evil 2 then blew it out of the war. Yeah. So, Silent Hill 1, better than Resi 1. I mean, Resi 1 was very, like, it had that vibe of, like, a, a schlocky, like, horror movie, B movie vibe. Silent Hill 1, from everything I've heard, because I never played either of the, um, those games. Back it's there. Oh, two of you, is there? Alright. Alright, lads. Whee! Out of the lads, are we? Bam! And bam! And bam! Oh no! Oh no! Um, no. <laughs> Quick! Just keep dodging! Just keep dodging! Oh boy! Okay. Oh, for goodness sake, sir. Sir. No! We are, we are in a situation here. Let's go. <laughs> Quick! Chug, chug, chug! Whee! Oh, we were almost the Jill sandwich! <laughs> you were almost a Jill sandwich. Oh, they've had too much. Look at them. Oh, silly buggers. I don't know which one was more, more wounded. I think it must have been this one. Can we, can we, can we stop with the silliness, right? Stay down. Get one down. Jesus, man. Oh, quick use Thunderbolt. I'll use a Thunderbolt brand energy drink to heal myself. Uh <laughs> Jesus, I love groovy <laughs> Yeah, I love groovy music. What a name for a shop. It's, it's good, isn't it? It's good. Where'd it get so many red sharpies to write that sign? Oh yeah, the the, the red redness. Are we are we are we quite done? <sighs> We're down a one health drink now. Brilliant. I don't want to use my syringe yet. That feels like, you know, drastic measures, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, well, we, we, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> this reminds me of a night out on West Street in Brighton. People fighting with two by fours with L's stuck out of vomiting everywhere. Yeah, and like stumbling around like that and all. This is, this is brilliant, right? Because it's, it's actually the scariest horror game. Especially anyone from Britain or apparently Oklahoma could um, could could ask for because it's the existential horror of real life. And that, let's say, that's bloody scary. I am just lying awake at night thinking, Jesus, what's happened? What's happened to our country? Uh, surely there can't be more Millwall fans out there. They they find you know they keep coming out of the woodwork. Uh, but Janet came in the other day drunken in tears, had half a record with him, kept yelling, we gotta fix it somehow. We gotta go back, Marty. <laughs> we gotta fix it. I was willing to do it just to shut him up, so I got up to get the glue from the cabinet, and realised he only had the one half a silly sod. Silly sausage. Um, so he ran out. What? That was, that was great. <laughs> the coughing in the ear. Um, can't do much about the record. Maybe ask around Neely's next time you're there. Might be one of theirs. Perfect. So we know it is here. Mm. Interesting. This is cool. I didn't go in this direction before. I've got on the other side. Flip, reverse it. But yeah, so um, 
if it, if it weren't for the odd, you know, giveaway signs of like, you know, the traffic lights and whatnot, it could very easily pass for like a town in Britain. It's, it's so rare. There needs to be, it will be a perfect setting for a new Silent Hill game. Oh my God, can you imagine if they, uh, can you imagine if this was the game to finally revive and like, uh, like revive the, the Silent Hill franchise? Um, and, and pick it back up on its feet. Uh, like if they go from here to then make an original game. I'm trying to think, it reminds me of uh, maybe not this specific kind of genre, but like there was definitely a game fairly recently, I can't, I can't think now, what was it? Uh, where like they did a remake and then off the back of that, they did a, I suppose, um, I don't think this is one I was originally thinking of, but um, Crash, Crash Bandicoot, Crash 4. I mean, they did the, um, you know, the, the remake, and then, what the hell, face the music, find the melody of your dreams, and kick up your heels. I I will. Call us. I used to work with a guy who's part of the Millwall firm. Blimey. Jesus, lovely unassuming fella during the week, but constantly on the front lines with the yobs. That is, that is fascinating, Techie White, mate. That is, uh, that's a hell. Of, I bet you, I bet you've got some stories, pal. Jesus. No man, I thought Wilmore fans only wear Stone Island clothes, so I don't see any badges on those guys. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a very, very key part of the um, the look, the aesthetic. Um. I can only imagine they've all zipped them on inside out because they've got like the, the zips on them. They look like they're uh, they're all zipped up. Okay, well, what have we got? Well, we got the second half of that. Perfect. Ho, 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 the long way. Yes, indeed. And we got glue. <gasps> now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with all this? Combine items. What, what could we... Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Wow. I don't know, guys. Can you figure... Sniff it! Sniff... <laughs> okay, I'm getting mixed messages again. No sniffing that. And then immediately afterwards, the men in space. Sniff it! Sniff it! Go on, sniff it! Sniff that glue. I mean, I'd rather not. It'd be a waste. You gotta... You gotta... You gotta, you gotta taste it. You can't just sniff it. You gotta get the full... Experience, you know what I mean? If in doubt, sniff it out. <laughs> uh, do you want me to sniff that for you, Lieutenant? <laughs> oh, hello. Music can bring you back to those wonderful moments you thought lost. Wow. Definitely not foreshadowing. God damn. Like, I, to be honest, I don't know the full details and ins and outs of what's going to happen. So I'm going to try and, like, Try my best to, you know, compartmentalize what I think is going to happen in my head anyway. Because um, I don't know the full details. <clears throat> oh, what have we got here? Cool, that's just the, uh, that's just that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very cool, like, what I vaguely think is kind of going on. And all these little, little subtexts and stuff. The wonderful moments when you sniff the glue. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And like I say... Obviously, I don't remember it specifically. It's a blue sniffing glue at the side. You know what I mean? Whee! Oh, Bazza! Oh, you missed me, pal. Oh, mate, nice jacket. Nice stony. I don't even know. Get out of here. Get out. Sit down. Oh, yes. Silly. What do you like? What do you like, huh? Oh, dear. I well. Well, well, well. Speaking of which, uh, and that calls for some glue. Some celebratory glue. Mm. An, an, an aperitif for monsieur. Right, combine. Plus. I don't. Hang on. No, no, no. We will figure this out. No, no, no. Let's remove that. We do. Uh, let's see. If we do that. Plus. That. Nah, it doesn't matter. I, I, I don't know, guys. I'm stumped. We, we, we need to Google this, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you need a fluffy pink cowboy hat and it'd be a hem party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Is that fishy glue from primary school? Ah! No, it's, um, I don't remember that, but if that was a, um, was that like a, a key primary school, like school branded thing? Uh, I don't remember to be honest. Obviously I remember, you know, like everybody had Pritt sticks and stuff. Uh, I don't remember what that kind of glue was called though. Well, PVC glue, but yeah, I was like six, found a round glue and thought, that smells amazing. <laughs> and thus began the life of Psylocke. The life of debauchery. Okay, come on, let's, let's, let, right. I'm taking a punt here. Oh, wow. Well, we got lucky, guys. We got lucky. I'm 40. It's probably an 86. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, 40 years young. Mate, I'm, I'm getting there. Catching up. Copy decks. Copy decks was the kids. <laughs> Well, yeah, we only had, um, we just called it, um, um, we just called it, like, taste the goop, you know, we just called it lunch, <laughs> no, we, we just called it PVC, uh, yeah, P PVC, PVA, PVA glue, I think, not PVC, PVC is, like, plastic. Like it's, it's Friday afternoon, man. You can't, you can't, you can't expect the brain to be fully working. All right, come on now. You're asking too much. So, tick went to groovy music. Uh, what are we gonna, what are we gonna give groovy music on the, um, on the TripAdvisor? Yeah, yeah, here's the down there. yeah, PBA. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Keep me honest. Oh, bloody hell. He sniffed so much, can't remember what it's killed. Good lord. Two stars. I mean, yeah, we did get, like, attacked by a bunch of hooligans. But we did find some, some very tasty um, glue, so, you know. Uh, two stars. Yeah, we had PVA as well, but that was a special treat from the fish glue. <laughs> oh, man, it didn't have a copy of Mad World by Tears for Fears. Mm. Yeah, well, that will, that will mark you down. Put yourself a record shop. You haven't even got that. Jesus. Didn't even have Kajagoogoo. Bloody rubbish. Oof, the stuttering again. Well, um, we'll probably, was it, uh, oh, what was, what was it, uh, oh, bloody hell. My mind's blanking, but, um, you, uh, lovely person that, that raided us a little bit earlier. Um, I think you were saying about, the fix to put in uh, to make it go on to DirectX, DirectX 11. <laughs> that is my outlake, that 45 RP. <laughs> oh my days. Okay. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Any banana rama? <laughs> like, you know, I'm not old enough to be doing these sort of silly bollocks references, but yeah. We uh, Can we? That looks like a place we can go into. That looks like a sort of place I want to go into. Look, look, we have environmental cues. <laughs> but I didn't know where to go because it wasn't painted yellow. This, this is the other thing as well. I do love that. Um, the irony of all the... Feel the craving, you just can't help it. Go for it! Happy burger! What you need is what you get. On the run, grab something to go. Happy burger. <laughs> oh, Gerald would run that back and do sick of us. Ah, 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 oh. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, see that guy, see that guy. Oh, oh, dodgy, dodgy. Oh, that's right. Oi! Oh, bloody proper, uh, proper head butt there. Get out of here! And uh, the melee isn't as predictable as I first first horrible, horrible tag lines. But you got to imagine it means something, right? It's, um, it's kind of like uh, with Alan Wake where a lot of it seems to have, you know, a little bit of uh, a subtle metaphorical meaning, subtle 
Subtext. Subtool text. And, I mean, I, I bloody love that gun. So I do think I'll be. Whoops. What the hell? Face right there. Yeah, I, I do think I, I will love this gun. Whoa! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Man's played the Dark Souls game before. Oh, look at them cheeky dodge rolls. Vandalism! No! No! Maybe? Maybe. Um, can we rob, rob the money from here? Yeah. Played too much, uh, too much Fallout in my time. Every time I see that, I'm like, can we rob the till, though? Is the main question. Just a hungry customer looking for a crabby patty. Well, that's what they get. Alright. Serves them right. Let's let's crawl down here as well. Nothing wrong crawling through a awkward space on your belly. Um, and we're definitely not going to get jump scared at any point. Proceed this. We've got some more syringes. Let's go. <laughs> Don't mess with James Jenkins. He'll put your windows in. <laughs> Windows, you mate. I'll clean it with Yeah, okay. Um, remind me, look at the time. Look at the time. We should be. Um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll get to a point of uh, wrapping up pretty soon, but yeah, so next next save point, if we can find one. And I guess we're getting close to, uh, to Saul's place. Oh! Well, that's convenient. We could do with an extra one. I didn't want to use my last one, which is stupid because we'd, we'd need it anyway, right? But, yeah. There we go. We've done it now. We've committed. And, uh... There is bar. I mean, to be fair, the bar is just around the corner. So, yeah. No, I've, I've done a lot of um, late streams recently. I'm running a little bit later... So, uh, yeah, I think I think we might have to just... We went to Groovy Music. We left, uh, unfortunately, only two stars because they didn't have... They have a great selection, to be honest. No Agadoo. Piss poor, if you ask me. Um, late, it's just 12 a.m. Oh, yeah, I forgot about your, your crazy time difference sidewalk. <laughs> Bless you. If we keep running late, we'll never get this game up to 10, 20 streams. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. We um, we want to pump those numbers up, those rookie numbers. Okay, well, amazing, amazing stuff. I do. Uh, holy moly, what a, what a, what a journey. What a, I just realised. Hang on, hang on a minute. Are we still operating? Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I'm glad we. Of course, of course, the damn thing's gone. I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, we're gonna... It's chaos! It's chaos! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right. It's this stupid bloody stream deck with a load of buttons. You have different profiles, but it always switches back to the default one every single piss in time. Anyway. Deary me. Deary me, deary me. Oh! <laughs> Cheers, Jimmy. Nice one, Jimbo. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Well, it's, it's been it's been a lovely stream, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember what I was, what I was banging on about before, but it's not that important. We will, uh, we yeah, yeah, we'll 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 crack on and hopefully we'll we'll pump those numbers up to maybe twenty plus streams. Oh, that'll be exciting. Um, and yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for for popping by for some for some real spookums. I hope you weren't too scared. We did mention we did come across a lot of Millwall. Uh, Hooligans, yeah, as you're saying, Chip. Um, my goodness, you can lend monsters like in Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> yeah, we'll be we'll be juggling them soon. It's yeah, for a survival horror, we're going a bit gung ho, aren't we? Um, we haven't reached a point where we're like, uh oh, we need to we need to keep running. So uh, I wonder if I mean, it's you start a game, really. Uh, I do wonder if it'll get trickier. Uh, but so far, uh, honestly, I'm I'm blown away. It's really really great atmosphere really really cool and um yeah props to the blooper team you all thought it couldn't be done but yeah well done good stuff mr jenkins reminded me of night out in rochdale in 2003 <laughs> 
Oh god, yeah, I can't wait for us to get back to um, average British town uh, simulator. In not even the 2000s, it could easily be um, the year of our Lord 2024. So, isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? The prospect of this being in Britain is more scary than the fog. I know, right? Jesus. Bloody hell. Well, you've, you've experienced Birmingham, mate. <laughs> you know the, the scariest of the scary uh places but anyway um yeah thanks very much for uh, joining us on this brave new step away from cyberpunk i can't believe it but you know we're having a we're having a grand old time uh we will we'll, we'll do a cheeky raid on somebody um but yeah we have just trying to think we uh i don't believe there's any big big video uh tonight of course i said that last week um and there was a, a big old bloody ranked list wasn't there uh it was a Dragon Age, I think. Dragon Age ranked. Um, but of course, we do have Worst Games this Sunday or tonight if you're a Patreon member. If you're a patron, then first of all, thank you very much. Um, if you're not, bloody get on the Patreon, mate. Go on, go on. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Black there. Um, don't remind me of the end of passing in the train station. <laughs> no, was it really bad? Uh, yeah, because I, I, we, we didn't, um, we, we just Ubered, luckily. We, you know, us, us rich royalty, getting our bloody uh, direct from the house to the, to the. This is talking about insomnia. Rip, by the way, rest in peace, insomnia. Um, we hardly knew you. But anyway, yes, uh, Worst Games is uh, available at nine o'clock tonight for uh, patrons, and Sunday, six p.m. British time for everybody else, and of course the podcast and all the other lovely things. Please do go and check them out and. Most importantly, have a wonderful weekend and don't spook yourself too much if you're going out in average British foggy town, aka Silent Hill. Um, and yes, yes, good shout as well. The tap appeal obviously is open. Uh, address on screen, it's not on screen, but you'll you'll find out more in the link there. Right, let's go raid someone, shall we? <laughs> Who is up right now? Right now? Um, oh, he's training. We've not seen him uh, streaming this time usually. Although, yes, we, we got to throw it to our boy, Alex. Uh, our, our fine editor. We killed it together. <laughs> oh, God. I bloody hope not. You're responsible for Harambe. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so we saw a lot of Millwall fans. We saw Harambe. Gone but not forgotten. Uh, with the angles now, and yeah, yeah, we we experienced a classic night out in um, Brighton slash Bristol. I can't remember where you said H Y um, slash Rochdale. Could have been could have been Stoke on Trent. Could have been Blythe. Could have been Oklahoma. We got we got the full gamut of, of dodgy nights out in dodgy foggy town. But yeah, fantastic. Uh, what? I'll leave you on that though. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good.